the question is A can do a work in 8 days, B can do the work in 7 days and C can do the work in 6 days. A works on the first day, B on the second day and C on the third day. They continue in the same way till or same manner till the work is finished. Which day will they finish the work? This is a quantitative aptitude, time and work problem. This is a quantitative aptitude, time and work problem. See here what you understand is A works on the first day, B on the second day, C on the third day and yeah, the work continues like this means A is working on the fourth day, B on the fifth day, C on the sixth day, seven, eight, nine like that. Now work done concept, always convert your work done in a single unit. See we can do a work in eight days means you have to find out what you can do in one day. So, it will be 1 by 8 of the work he will be doing in one day. If he can do the work in 8 days, he will be doing 1 by 8 of the work in one day. Always convert in unitary. So, if A can do the work in 8 days means, uh, days, work done is 8 days. So, in one day, how much you will do? In one day, in one day, you will do 1 by 8. A can do the work in, in 8 days. So, in one day, you will do 1 by 8. Always convert the work done is work done in a single unit. What it is, I will make it as A, B and C. So if A can do work in 8 days, in one day you will do 1 by 8. This is the work done by A in one day and B will do 1 seventh in one day and C will do 1 sixth in one day. So A does the work on first day, B on the second day, C on the third day and it will continue like this. A will be working on the fourth day, fifth day, sixth day. 7, 8, 9 like this. It will go on. It will go on. Now what happens is, the work done is always 1. The work done is always 1. So what I did is, 1 minus 1 by 8, minus 1 by 7, minus 1 by 6. Again go to minus 1 by 8, minus 1 by 7, minus 1 by 6. Like that it will go on till you get 0. That day the work will be over. That day the work will be over. But it's a difficult way of doing it. It's a difficult way of doing it. Instead, when you see here, C can do the work in 6 days. C can do the work in 6 days. So if he is working alone, the work will be over in 6 days. So in case you are getting an answer less than 6, you are going wrong somewhere. As per this question, the minimum days, number of days required to complete the work will be 6. And the maximum number of days, because A can do the work in 8 days, the maximum number of days required will be 8. So in case you get an answer less than 6 or more than 8, Somewhere you have gone wrong, your presence of mind will tell you that somewhere you have gone wrong, you will have to redo your working. And uh, in case all the three work together, because that is not given in this question, I am just giving an example. In case all the three work together, the answer will be definitely less than 6. All the three working together will be definitely less than 6. But because they are working on alternate days, A first day, B second day, C third day, 4, 5, 6 like that, it will be, minimum will be 6, maximum will be 8. So what I do is, because minimum 6 days work is required, I will add all this. I will add all this. So this will be the output in 3 days. So here, the LCM is 168. The LCM is 168. Then what happens? It will be 21 plus 24 plus 28 will be equal to 73 by 168 in 3 days. So the work done in 3 days will be 73 by 168 of the work. It will be 73 by 168 of the work. Now when you see the numerator and denominator, when you see the numerator and denominator, the numerator is less than 50% of the denominator. The numerator is less than 50% of the denominator. The numerator is less than 50% of the denominator. So one more cycle of three days is required. One more cycle of three days is required. So plus 73 by 168 for another three days. So, will be equal to 146 by 168 in 6 days. So, the output is 146 by 168 in 6 days work. Now, the work is still not completed. But when you see the gap here, it is not 73. When you see the gap here, it is not 73. So, now all the three need not work. All the three need not work because if they are working for 3 days, the output will be 73 by 168. Because the gap is not 73, all the three need not work. So on the seventh day, A alone will be working. So it will be 146 by 168 plus 1 by 7 will be equal to 167 by 168. So after seven days, the work completed is 
167 by 168. The work is still not completed. The work is still not completed. Something is remaining. That 1 by 168 is still remaining. 1 by 168 is still remaining. So 1 by 168 of the work is remaining. On the eighth day, B will be working. So here it is 1 by 8. So A works 1 by 8. So this will be 167 by 168. A works, 8 days means 1 day you will do 1 by 8. So this is 167 by 168. So 1 by 168 are still remaining. 1 by 168 is still remaining. So what will happen is B works on the 8th day. He will be doing 1 by 7. Whenever he does, he will do 1 by 7. Whenever he does, he will do 1 by 7. So will be equal to 7 by 168 which is equal to 1 by 24. So A works on the 7th day. So it will be 1 by 8 which will be 167 by 168. B works on the 8th day which will be 1 by 7. 1 by 68 is remaining. He will do 1 by 7. So if the output will be taking 7 by 168 which will be equal to 1 by 24 days. 1 by 24 days. So the answer is 7 and 1 by 24 days. 7 and 1 by 24 days. The answer is 7 and 1 by 24 days. But here the question is not talking about how many days. Has the question been how many days? The answer is definitely 1 by 7 and 1 by 24 days. But the question is on which day they will finish the work. So on which day they will finish the work. So even if B is working for a fraction of a second on the 8th day. Even if B is working for a fraction of a second on the 8th day. The answer is 8th day. The answer is 8th day. So this is the way of doing it. This is the way of doing it. Subscribe to my channel which is free of cost. I will be adding questions every now and then. Now you can also subscribe, uh, I have also got my own website which is www.aptitude-bsk.in You can register here, you can also take sample test. I, this videos are also there in my website, I am also uploading this in my website so you can also do it there. There it will be topic wise, company wise, I will be uploading, I am trying to do that, I am updating it, I am not updated, I will be doing it in future course of time. So here, you can register here, you can practice online tests, because nowadays, the companies, placement companies are going for online tests, even the CAT exams are online tests, CGR exam is online tests, so all are online tests, you can practice online tests in my website. Subscribe.